Welcome back everyone and I'm here again with SBR contributor Jordan Sharp. Today we're going to look at how those odds have been acting up for the game between the Houston Texans and the Indianapolis Colts. How are you doing today, Jordan? Doing good, Dex. Thanks, man. All righty, man. Lines makers had this one opening up the Colts as favorites at minus seven. Line dropped to minus six and a half, but five dimes went the other way and put it up to minus seven and a half. Oh, these guys have been off all, all week long. Anyways, Texans, uh, they beat the Jaguars 27 to 13. Colts beat the Browns 25 to 24. Close game. Now, Texans come in 7-6 and six straight up, 8-5 and five against the spread. Colts 9-4 and four straight up and against the spread. Uh, so far, man, Andrew Luck has just been on fire, dude. I think that he, got, he has this game. Uh, he doesn't really, you know, I don't, I don't think that the Texans bring that much of a threat to him in this case. Uh, I don't know, man. J.J. Watt is a monster, yeah, and all, but Colts, uh, the Colts have it going on right now. I mean, I think that they're catching fire right now at the precise moment and heading into the playoffs that they should be a team to be considering right now. What do you think, man? Oh, I mean, I, I've been high on the Colts all year. They've, 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 they've been a little shaky recently. And the biggest thing for them is, you know, I think has been scoring early in the game. Um, you know, in first quarters so far over the last, you know, three weeks, they have one offensive touchdown. And, and if you expand that, to first halves, I mean, even against, you know, teams like the Redskins or the Jaguars, you know, they haven't been that great other than that game against Washington where they kind of started a little bit slower. But, you know, you know, first quarters and first halves have been pretty bad for them. They've been having to play from behind, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. But you get up against, you know, a team like Houston that if they get a lead, they have a pass rush that's going to eat that offensive line alive. And, uh, you know, I, I, I just I, I think that I think the Colts are the play here. But, you know, I'm, I think I'm laying off this spread. I, I, I think that seven points, six and a half points, wherever you're getting at it, five dimes. You know, as you said, there's some but somebody's going through something there this week. But <laughs> yeah, I know, it's man. seven and a half plus one twenty five for yeah. the, the Colts. You know, I'm I, I just can't find a, 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 one of these spreads that I'm that I'm interested in. I do, however, think the total has a little bit of value potentially. Um, you know, this, this game could get higher scoring. Um, it, I think the biggest question is if the Colts defense show up or not, and if they don't, um, you know, the, the, I think the Texans are going to have some success on offense on this game. So I think that the over could be a pretty good play here, but I'm personally not touching the spread on this one. All right, man. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I, I kind of have to agree with you in this case. I do like the total, you know, it makes a lot more sense than actually putting the risk on the Colts, but it's Andrew Luck, man. I mean, they're playing against the Texans team that really only that what they have right now is their is their defense, which hasn't really been doing that much either. Um, I, I don't know, man. I, 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 I'm kind of weary on this game. I, I just stay away from it, I guess. I, I don't I, I really don't have anything else to say about it, man. I mean, I like the Colts. I like what they've been doing, but uh, seven points, maybe six and a half. I, I probably would take it six and a half, but I, I don't know, man. It's just a little iffy in this situation. Um, they don't have that running game going well. That's something that might hurt them uh, later down. Um, that they're definitely regretting that Trent, uh, Trent Richardson trade. Um, yeah. I, I don't know. Have, have they been using Ahmad Bradshaw still, or are they, uh, are they starting to run with somebody else right now? No, because he's – yeah, because Ahmad Bradshaw's hurt. Um, but uh, the, I, I just – the reason I just can't jump on board with the Colts, I think, in this game, it, when it comes down to it, is like you said, A, they can't run the ball, and they're not necessarily stopping the run that well either. And the last time these two teams played back in October, Arian Foster had 140 total yards from scrimmage and two touchdowns. Right. So, I mean, the, the Texans could very easily, I think, control the, you know, control the clock in this game and keep it close. They only lost five points um, the last time these two teams played. Um, and I, I could easily see Foster going off again. You know, he's had 100 yards from scrimmage in, in every game but three this year. And, uh, you know, the, 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 with the Colts, the Colts run defense was solid at the beginning of the year as almost completely, um, you know, started to fall apart. And you know, they, this is just one of the reasons why I, I'm not I'm not this isn't an endorsement to Houston either, because like you said, I mean, the Colts could, you know, come out, and, you know, just catch fire and score 40 points in this game. Right. It's just one of the reasons why I think the spread's just unbettable. You can't really uh, put any sort of trust in it. And, but what you can put in trust in is that both of these teams, I think, are going to be able to move the football should lead to points. Uh, could be that the total, you know, creeps into the fifties. All right. So how about we do a teaser and take the Colts and the and the over, man? I mean, six points maybe might help us a little bit. You know, the Colts would be minus a half a point, and that over would be what? 
Yeah, that would if you yeah that would tease it down to forty three. So yeah, that would be a really good wager. I think. Um, you know, I, I I wouldn't even mind. I think you know taking the Houston side of that teaser and going with the over too. I think both are, are for you know pretty good. I think I think there's I think this game's going to finish similarly in in into what the last one did. Um, high twenties, low thirties in the total um, goes over, and you know it finishes within it within a touchdown somewhere. You know where that is, I'm not sure. Um, but you know, that, that's just one of the reasons why I just, I think the, the, it's a much safer and I think smarter wager to go with the total here. All right, cool. All right, Jordan. Good stuff, man. Uh, let's uh, talk some more football again next week, man. The SBR network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns, big money, free betting contests year round, a real time Vegas style odds, monitoring service and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.